Why does your concrete keep cracking? Concrete cracks, that's a, that's a function of how concrete works. And when you pour concrete, it shrinks as it cures. And so it's expected that large expanses of concrete will crack. That's why you put control joints into concrete to try to encourage it to crack where you want it to crack. That being said, what if you're experiencing a situation where the concrete cracked, and then it cracked, and it cracked a little more, and there's cracks everywhere. What's going on here? It's most likely that the supporting structure for the concrete has failed somehow. Now, when I say supporting structure, that could be a number of different things, but ultimately, it's the structure that the concrete was sitting on when the concrete was first poured. I'll give you an example. Let's say you have gravel, like what you would have before you pour a pool deck. You pour the concrete over top of the gravel, and now, 5, 10, 20 years later, that gravel has slowly, slowly compressed into the ground from all the water that gets splashed around. And just from the, the you know, time taking its toll, the gravel will so slowly consolidate and sink lower into the ground. But the concrete it was, it, that was once sitting on it can't go with it because it's attached to the pool wall or sitting on sauna tubes or something like that. So what's happened is, is the supporting substrate sinks away, the concrete can't move, and now that there's now there's a hollow area underneath. So without the the system in place to support the concrete from the underside, it's expected that the concrete will crack. That's considered to be normal, but if you're in a situation where your concrete is cracked and it continues to crack and the cracks look pretty severe, it could be that your supporting structure has failed severely. It could be that the ground has eroded away and the, co the contractor that installed your deck didn't install it with sauna tubes. So maybe there, there is no supporting structure other than the ground that was, you know, the concrete was sitting on. And now that the, con or the ground is compacted, the concrete's just essentially not supported at all. It's going to start to crack all over the place. That's something that can happen. If that's the case, if that's what's happening to your pool, it's very likely you have a leak in your pool somewhere. Nine times out of ten, if I I encounter a swimming pool deck that's cracking aggressively, uh, especially one that's been there for a while and then all of a sudden it's just started cracking and there, it's extensively cracking. Not like one hairline crack that you kind of got to look with a microscope to see. I'm talking about big fissures that are running through the pool deck and you can see the pool deck migrating and there's elevation differences happening between areas in the pool deck where it's cracked. When I see that, I'm thinking leak in the swimming pool nine times out of ten. As the water is moving through the ground, it moves it removes all of the fine silt and debris from the soil and leaves the larger aggregate behind. But as a result, this creates hollow pockets which will slowly consolidate over time and all that supporting structure for the deck will wash away and there will be a hollow spot underneath the deck and then what will happen is ultimately the deck will crack. Crack, heave, shift, move and end up with elevation gaps where it's cracked. So if that's the situation that you have, it's very likely that you have a leak in your swimming pool and you should probably start with the leak detection process to see if you can identify where it's leaking from. If you found this information helpful, be sure to like this video and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And you can check out my website, swimmingpoolsteve.com.